ました。As I think most of you know, today is a state open to Parliament for the Deputy uh, Russian Ambassador and also the bus with the uh, Embassy School children. And I just hope the weather is staying fine to the end of this ceremony. For the Remembrance Ceremony, remembering the 27 million service personnel and civilians of the Republic we occupied. And we remember the suffering of the Soviet prisoners of war there, with over 400 of them worked that the Nazi army was not invincible. I know that the Russian government has issued a new medal the year the Barrier Cellar. Not only on my behalf, but also on behalf of Mother Mayor, Councillor Lorraine Lauder, and it was on one day, it was on May the 9th. Mexico time when the German military surrender and the former Soviet Republic commemorate Victory Day today instead of yesterday, May the 8th, but regard straight to mark the end of the European part of the war. Here in London, crowds mark in Trafalgar Square and stand at the mouth of the Cherry crowd. The future Queen Elizabeth II, who this year celebrates 60 years on the throne, by men and women of courage in freeing the world from the territory of Hitler dictatorship. We can never... Generations this garden of remembrance, we will all pay tribute to all those who continue to proudly Europe tradition of sexual peace. As our souls and fires rise to the heavens, so may our hopes and aspirations be lifted yet again for us will never be repeated. To kill, but our capacity to stand our ground between death and humanity in, de in defense of it. Winston Churchill in his address to the British people on May the 8th, 1945. As I would wish. At this moment, the Queen is coming to Westminster in Geraldine Mary Harmsworth Park before, since the Soviet of the former Soviet Union, celebrate victory in Europe. But we can never take democracy or peace for granted. In sunshine or in rain, and from the Atlantic to the Urals, we must always acknowledge our debt. You can't believe he's filming behind me. And we sincerely thank him for flying.